Sticks and stones may break our bones, but robots? They're definitely going to take over the world. We're not sure about others, but Elon Musk's humanoid is definitely a nudge towards world domination. Musk has recently revealed some pretty exciting news about a Tesla robot which, from the looks of it, is ready to take over basic tasks in our everyday life. In today's video, we'll be telling you all about this one-of-a-kind humanoid and what you can expect from it. First up, let's see what Elon Musk has up his sleeve now. On last year's AI Day, Musk made a pretty jarring announcement, claiming that Tesla will soon be making a humanoid robot that'll take over our mundane, everyday tasks. These basically include running household errands such as buying groceries or helping with construction. You know, anything that's boring and tedious. He has boldly claimed that the company will have a prototype ready next year. Well, guess what? In the most recent annual shareholders meeting for Tesla, Musk said that he is ready to unveil his brand new robot to the world. So mark your calendars for the second AI day, where Tesla CEO thinks that everyone will be blown away with what he's got to present. The company also recently teased the prototype of Optimus, the bipedal humanoid robot, which is set to be released on 30th September this year. Now that's something to talk about. Musk holds the opinion that these robots will soon become more valuable than cars. Oh well, we're here to judge if there's any truth to this statement at all. But to be perfectly frank, if we had to guess which company was going to make the first ever humanoid with such high-level functions, all of us would probably have said Tesla. Musk obviously seems to think so too, since during a recent event he mentioned that Tesla is arguably the world's biggest robotics company because cars are semi-sentient robots on wheels. It kind of makes sense to put that into a humanoid form. Well, we're with you, Musk. Now here's what we know Musk's robot will do. Making the type of robot that Musk has in mind has got to be challenging. From the looks of it, he wants to build one that will be able to react quickly to changes and behave in a more human-like manner. Now, there aren't any similar robots present right now, so don't really have any other machine to compare it with. And of course, how can we forget about the design? We're not exactly sure about the product design because it basically looks just like a cross between a mannequin and a slender man. So that's slightly creepy. Can you imagine seeing one of those in the grocery store shopping, casually looking around for some men's to meet? It'll probably take some getting used to. This 5 foot 8 inch robot, which by the way will be taller than an average human being, will be built from lightweight materials and is expected to weigh approximately 125 pounds. The robot will be equipped with autopilot cameras that can also be found in Tesla's vehicles. These are supposedly going to help the robot understand its environment better. Along with this, there will be a screen which will present all the needed information. So, here's what we understand for now. The humanoid would be putting an end to the dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. Of course, these tasks seem pretty easy, but it'll be cool to have a robot handle them for us. Now, it might be very easy for non-science folks to say that the tasks listed by Musk are very easy, but only a person with a good amount of knowledge regarding robots can tell us the real story. Michael Peshkin, who's a robotic professor at Northwestern University, weighed in his two cents after the announcement was made, and his opinion really managed to put things into perspective for us. He compared the ability of Optimus to take over such basic tasks to a child getting familiar with its surroundings. Of course, a baby takes years and years to master its movements, so having a robot make such sophisticated movements might take time. And honestly, thinking about how this robot will have to react to things on the fly makes us slightly anxious. The experts at Tesla must have had to work day and night to create such specialized and adaptive programs that will help Optimus achieve its goals. Picture this. You've sent your robot to buy some snacks for movie night, but uh-oh, it turns out that the store is all out of pretzels. For a human, this might not be that big of a challenge because we'd be able to reach a quick decision and buy something else. But for a robot, it might just fry up their brain. But Musk obviously doesn't want that to happen, so this is definitely one of the biggest challenges that Tesla will have to overcome. Until now, we don't know much about how this robot will behave, but Musk has assured us that it'll be friendly. Although he did say this in a joking manner, Musk wants the people to know that he intends the robot to be friendly. And on top of this, he also stated that the robot will be trying its best to navigate through a world built for humans. Well, thanks for clearing that up, but from what we understand, he knows that everyone has only one question in mind, whether one day the robots will take over or not. Elon made sure to mention the fact that a normal human being would easily be able to outrun the robot. Um, we'd like to see some demonstration for that first. It should be noted that Musk on several occasions has firmly voiced his dislike for using robots as weapons. He understands that it'll end up being the biggest risk for civilization. Musk also noted that AI is definitely something we should be worried about. Well, we knew that, but there's something new that Elon has to add. Apparently, at Tesla, he's trying to make sure that the AI which is being created at the company actually does some good for humans. But the fact that the robot is named Optimus definitely doesn't help. For many of us, it actually brings memories of Transformers where an alien species of robots was ready to destroy the world. Maybe he should have put some more thought into the name. Now, from the description given by Musk, it seems like we're getting a worker from some
some warehouse. This means that we can basically expect the robot to behave in such a manner. That sort of does help clarify things a bit, doesn't it? If some fruits have gone bad, then the robot would know well enough to either keep them or throw them away. Similarly, it would be smart enough to differentiate among a range of items. So we'll probably be seeing Optimus perform tasks that don't exactly require professional training. But there's one concern that has turned several people against these robots. Will they be taking over human jobs? That isn't completely out of the equation. Through this humanoid, Musk will definitely succeed in making physical work optional by getting rid of any and all repetitive tasks. But is that really wise? We all know that the current economy is less than friendly, and in order to make ends meet, many people have to hold on to more than one job. And as mundane and repetitive tasks don't really require special training, several people prefer to do them as side gigs. But now, if robots are here and ready to take over the basic tasks, then we're probably going to have a bit of a problem, because not many can afford to opt out of physical work. Let's see if the robot deserves all the hype it's getting. There's one thing about Musk that always remains consistent, and that is, he definitely knows how to create hype for something. Whether it's a Tesla Cybertruck or buying Twitter, the man sure knows how to remain in the spotlight, but he doesn't always follow through. His backing away from the Twitter deal has put some big question marks on his credibility, so we're really not sure if the robot is going to be all that he claims. First up, the challenges he wishes to overcome through this one-of-a-kind Tesla bot will be requiring some pretty tough programming skills. Of course, anyone can put together a bunch of slides, but to actually deliver a working robot, now that's going to be quite difficult. Although no estimates have been made by Musk about the pricing, nor has he given us a proper explanation of what the specifications for the robot are, but many estimate that the price tag would easily be above $10,000. Now, if the robot is actually able to carry out tasks mentioned by Musk, then we could cut the price tag some slack. Let's be real, who wouldn't want robots to take over the entire construction process and make everything easier for us? But the biggest question is whether Tesla would be able to deliver this or not. That's all we have for Optimus, the humanoid robot which will soon be taking over our mundane tasks. Do you think Tesla will be able to accomplish what it's aiming for with the robot? Would you consider buying the robot? Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you liked our content, then don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.